Boopsies, it's me, Tony. if you could subscribe, tap the bell if you're new here, and hit all notifications. And check my website, TonyPomponi.com, to book your own services from me. I offer Reiki, Tarot, ASMR, Coffee Cup, and Candle Wax readings, and it helps me to keep the lights on, so I'd really appreciate it. Alright, so let's begin. Last time I did a Chanel book page flipping, and I ate some biscotti. And this time I have some... beverage here. Um, not sure where to put it because I don't want to take up too much space. Uh, with figs and raisins. All right, so I will be snacking on that from time to time. I have this lovely candle going and it just started to pour rain. So uh, that was the thunder there. And I will be page flipping this Louis Vuitton Bougera Passeau, Birth of Modern Luxury book. I love this book so much. It's so heavy. Um, I showed it in my Amazon shopping haul video. But what I'm going to do is take this cover off. like books just without that little flap cover. I literally need a crane just to lift this book. It's so heavy. I just prefer it this way because it can get so flimsy. designer companies. All right, so I guess let's begin. You obviously won't see everything because of copyright, but I just wanted to do page flipping. I mean, you get what you pay for with Louis Vuitton, really. Such quality. So this may end up being a long one. It's a very long book. It's almost 600 pages. This is the first time I'm actually looking in this book, um, but I'll spend over a period of time, some quality time, actually flipping through the entire book. Great, now that 
that song, song is stuck in my head. so much lately. I mean, this is just a tabletop book. Like, do it. people actually read tabletop books? of the Second Empire. Le Vie Pershing. Oh my goodness, the detail in this artwork. Wow. It's so amazing to see how they like used to poof up the dresses back in the day, like, um, with wired caging. <laughs> Empress Eugenie. of the company. They were originally making luggages. Oh wow, that was their first luggage. See the similarity now into today's work. The transportation revolution. Yeah, wasn't that around the time of the sec is it called the second industrial revolution or the third one? Where they had like cars and trains. Steamboats. I know steamboats were like the 1800s. I remember that in history class. Suez Canal. Oh my gosh. Well, that is a pretty narrow canal. Egyptian stuff. These illustrations are gorgeous. A snare, cradle of the Vuittons.
can't stop feeling just the texture. Stripes, the signature of luxury. George's. And they went to conquer London. I think that's when they started going into wardrobes. One time I was on those uh, bus trains that took you from the parking garage in the airport to the airport terminal and this lady's family you could tell like they were totally not from Florida like they're from another country they had like five huge Louis Vuitton luggages. I'm like... <sighs> Clearly they're well-traveled. <laughs> and I kept looking at them in awe and I was like... And then a the lady kept looking at me like... She probably thought I was like wanting to take one. <laughs> floral aspects to their designs, but men love it. Like, there's something feminine about it and masculine. And that, that's kind of why I fell in love with them. And just the brown. I love the brown monogram canvas. It's so gorgeous. Like, I grew up wearing a lot of dark clothing, like black, gray, brown, yellow, like those kind of off colors, like mustard green, something like that. And people were always like, ew, why do you always wear the same type of clothing? And I never knew what to answer. But now I kind of know why, like there was always a specific look I was looking, like I was always even willing to spend a bit more just to get like a certain look. Nowadays I don't, but like, I kind of get it, right? Like. I 
think that's why a lot of people do end up buying designer stuff is because it lasts a long time. Like their wallets last like 10 years. Like instead of changing your wallet every year or two years, like, you know, it's worth it. I'm not gonna lie, some of their stuff turns me off. Like I, I just, like the obnoxious nowadays, like um, the younger generation, like those patterns the obnoxious colors, I'm like, oh. it doesn't do it for me. I, I like the old, like, it's ha either has to be like all blue and black or blue and gray or like brown or camel. Flying machines, photon aircraft, they had aircraft. Jeez. Luggage for automobiles. like a little compartment to hold perfumes, colognes, like men's grooming kit, brushes. stuff for people in uh, foreign countries. Monument of Independence. This is when they're building the Empire State Building, I think. No, I'm sorry, the uh France, what is it called? The French Tower, I forgot the name of it in Paris. Not the Tower of Pisa, what is that stinking building called? Oh my god, the cars are literally driving on water. really did spread everywhere they went. They even had a building, the Vuitton building. Wow, it's big. There must have been like a lot of pressure on them at the time to like be like that affluent.
in a wealthy family and like built such a big business and a big name globally. They must have felt so, I don't know. They didn't have the technology back then, like to just talk on FaceTime. If they're going through some struggle, like they must have felt so alone. Like here, I'll send a pigeon to my aunt about my feelings. I don't know. I just some random thoughts I get sometimes. And Gaston Louis, they all had that mustache. <laughs> Oof, they certainly had better posture than we do. That's a nice reminder. They didn't have to slouch on a computer and edit videos like a freak all day. <laughs> I really don't spend time on the computer. Like, I probably spend like one hour a day max on the computer, honestly. Two max, two max. Window displays. This is inspiring me to go to the museum again. I'm just stare at paintings and drool mindlessly. The first time I went into a museum, I was so uncomfortable. I, everyone was just like staring at the wall and like okay I guess I gotta pretend like I'm interested I think people mostly go because it's an aesthetic not because they really care People actually do. I mean, some people actually like art and like to interpret it, you know. There's a beauty about it. I mean, it's fun. It's fun. so much like leather like I don't know what nature colors like green brown like my whole house has green and brown furniture besides this table like you also have to have a contrast so it's like you know this table was different because like it has to be different right Yes, girl, do that lipstick. Oh, but you might not. Uh, I'm gonna tweeze that eye, unibrow, you know, and lay your edges a bit. There we go. Okay. Sometimes I used to bash designer, but knowing me, if I had all the money in the world, I'd probably buy every single brown piece they had, because sometimes I'll be looking on their website, drooling. Even my eyeballs will be drooling. It'll be so tempting to just purchase a piece, but I'm like, nope. This is India, yeah. Mahara, Maharaja, Kapurtala. I know I have a lot of Indian poopsies. Maharaja, Kapurtala, the Maharaja's India. Oh, this is like a tea set. Oh my God, I want that so bad. I don't know if they sell that. 
I'm going to look on their website again. Just out of curiosity. I know they have, I got this book at a great discount on Amazon, but I know they have this book, like their updated, updated version for like double the price than this. Like I think the color of the cover is gray or silver if I'm not mistaken. The Colonial Empire on display. They wore a lot of clothing back in the day in like the 1800s. Like I don't know how they weren't hot in the tropical lands of India. Like you could see palm trees around her. Like I would be like with a Louis Vuitton fan like girl. They, they didn't have them electrical fans back in the day or fans in the air conditioner in the car, right? Like, you had to... Nah, she she was so wealthy, she probably had someone fan her with palms there and feed her grapes and raisins and figs, you know. What a hard life. <laughs> the Roaring Twenties. don't like the blue, white, and red. That just ruins it for me. I don't know what it is. It just doesn't match color-wise. Oh, that's gorgeous. A black luggage. That would be a very nice. Wow, and all that stitching. So pretty. Ooh, look at that journal. Treasure trunk. Oh my god, I wanted gold. Dear Lord, bless me with a billion dollars. <laughs> oh my. The conquest of America. <laughs> that lady's like smiling like this. Looks so funny. Brass trimmings and black trimmings. And it's amazing, like they knew how to market themselves even back then, like before most people did. Like nowadays you could take a marketing course like that. Heck, you can learn a marketing course from some guy in Germany for five dollars on Fiverr. Yet, back then, you didn't have a computer. Who's going to teach you? You know, one thing I learned is you can make a Louis Vuitton product, but it won't sell unless you know how to market yourself. Unfortunately, most people have to be bought, like <laughs> convinced, right? Just human psychology. I wonder if they struggled to succeed during the war. Why didn't they have celebrities promoting? Yes, this bag is the one we kind of know today that we're very familiar with. Oh, this was so ahead of its time. Oh my gosh. That was the 1930s? This bag? Oh my gosh. Wow. It's hard to imagine, like in your mind, like it's almost been a hundred years and they're still... Wow. And this bag, oh my god. Yeah, I think these are the celebrities now that are trying to endorse. Bonjour, Juste. The new wave. During their second or third, I forgot which, Industrial Revolution, they must have felt like big changes. Like, could you imagine how boring life was? Especially if you didn't have any money to buy a Louis Vuitton. Like, then they start coming out with cars, 
planes. You know, that was exciting. Nowadays, it's just like, you have the newest iPhone upgrade. Like, <sighs> Unless you start downloading me into like a computer. It's still boring, right? when they start working with the fog. Yeah. It just kind of skipped to like the, fifth, the 60s and the 70s. I think they realized what worked and they kept rinsing and repeating. Relaunch. now. Wow, they even had a hot air balloon with their name on it. Oh, this guy's reminding me that I haven't had a good cigar in so long. I know it's bad for you, but... Basically, all they have to do now is just put LV wherever they go, and that's that's how they promote themselves. Like, they don't even have to try. Wow, they put the luggage in Greenland. It's like snowing. Myanmar. This is now the 90s. This is the early 2000s. Now the quality starts to get better of the pictures. And I love their brown box as well. It looks like a chocolate box. I think that's what kind of entices you and draws you in. like laundry on their face mask. This was 2009 summer fashion show. early 2010s. It's funny, I used to not hear about them at all, and then like... Like 2010-ish came along, and then you start hearing about them. I think it's because we're so marketed to nowadays that it's at your fingertips and now every influencer is talking about it and it's just like This can be too much. This can be too highfalutin for some people. Like, I get it. It's too, like, not relatable to a lot of people, even to flip through a magazine like this. It's sort of like... Oh, my God, the dog. It's sort of like... 
I don't know, there's something more warming about Louis Vuitton. Like, that's why I like them more. It's not like too like, like Prada or something. Ooh, she's naked. I should cover this. I didn't even realize that. Oh my God, they even have soccer balls. Wow. Is this, what's her name? Oh no, that's, I don't know who Maggie Chung is. That's someone else. I thought that was, um, Vera Wang for some reason. Wow, they even have a huge building made like to look like a trunk. I think they projected lights on the building to make it look like that. 150 years in 2004. I didn't know they were obsessed with the automobile industry, like, to revolutionize um, luggages specifically for automobiles, like... designer store but I got nervous because I read the reviews of the closest one to me and everyone was complaining they were like they're so rude they don't welcome you they're not loving they don't say hi to you they give dirty looks and I got so nervous and I also heard someone tell that uh, you can't like or like it's like improper to ask um, like there's no price tag like it, it, it's weird to ask how much I guess I don't remember exactly but like what if you get the thing and you go to the counter and they're like 10 million dollars and you're like bye you know what I'm saying not literally get in the way and you purchase it or do you just say I think I'll put it back like I don't know seems like it's more revolutionized around women based on what I see here but I do see the feminine male appeal to it I, I really do I really do and not that like it's for feminine men no that's not what I'm saying I'm just saying it's for um, a specific taste I can't explain There's some good male products too, but like it that show the masculinity behind it. But it still has that essence. Oh, there's Angelina Jolie. Oh, that's a good picture of her. Wow, they did a really good, this is impressive. 2011, Cambodia, wow. Wow, that's a good picture. She was always one of my favorite actresses growing up as a kid. I remember we took a trip to California when I was younger. And I was telling my parents, like, oh, are we going to see Angelina Jolie? <laughs> I was always looking, like, expecting her to come out.
which is just it's interesting to see like their work in the factories like how they hand stitch like they really do I just want to disclose this is not sponsored okay but part of me is like always wishing like they had sent me something for free because girl I don't know the most I'm willing to spend is a few hundred bucks like I'm just not Admirable. And it's a tough leather and a tough stitching, like that's why it lasts so long. They know what they're doing. Gustavo Santolala. truly is a craft and I heard like they hire only specific people who really have the care and know what they're doing like the love has to go in the craft like they have to enjoy doing it and if they mess up they throw it and start over not the whole piece I'm just saying like the piece of the piece like that they're working on if the stitch is messed up like they will just I wish I remember where I heard that from. But yeah, we don't realize like how much money we spend on so much stuff that like just does not last. for some Louis Vuitton. Okay. It's admirable most of all though, like no matter how much time has gone by and how big the company is, they still spend equally as much time on every piece and love and care. And that's very rare and that's why I respect this company because like the bigger something gets, the worse it gets, it really does. But not them. I heard some people say like, oh, they started getting this and this, so and so. They got a little too big or whatever. Maybe the lady was having a bad day. Give her a break, okay? <laughs> oh yeah, even the name carving on the bottom of the shoe. That was always interesting to watch them do that. And the carving of the leather. That was always so relaxing to look at. I remember when um, we had Uga Chunga. And I watched my friend do the, the, the leather stitching work. Oh my god, I get so tingly. Forget they do jewelry too, don't they? They really branched out, but they didn't get ahead of themselves. They 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 took time and years and experience. I like them because they have select few items, but they're very specific in what they release. I love that about like a just quality. 
pure of quality in its essence. How Louis Vuitton entered the fashion world by Ruben Toledo and Paul Girapasson. about is like they say once you buy designer you never go back the pressure of that scares me so that's why I've been kind of holding off because if it's that good and you really like want it that bad I mean I definitely have the craving for it don't get me wrong at first I denied it I was like putting up a front like no such a waste of money, but like, I get it, I get it. There's, oh, that's Kate Moss, I thought that was Jennifer Lopez. Oh my god, no. Oh no, that is Jennifer Lopez, yeah. And Mark Jacobs. This is the stuff I'm talking about, like the new stuff, the pink and the... Yeah. It's definitely changing it up, that's for sure. Hey, you gotta experiment with some new styles, right? Nothing wrong with that. Oh, look at this lady. Is that Yai, Yayoi Kusama? Yayoi Kusama. Oh my gosh. She looks real hip. Sometimes I watch fashion shows online and they like they always look so like <laughs> like they're walking the runway like. So it's like they're trying not to bring so much attention to themselves. So they're kind of told to be like zombified. So that it's like... It's not about them, it's about the peace, right? of fashion in the last decade like wow there's like I'd say the last two decades especially wow she's sitting on black sand
And I like them because they're not trying hard to be like other companies. They're, they stick to one monogram, one look. People know who they are. They see the bag. They know right away. It's very impressionable. It, it, it goes into even your subconscious. You're like, yes, I know exactly who that is and who they represent, who they're for. And not everyone likes them. It's not for everyone. Well, not everyone will like anything that is, but... Oh, there's Madonna. I love that they show a mix of the old and the new. China. Wow, that's a really gorgeous store they have. Huge. Maybe I should just walk in one just to look around. If they want to be rude, I'll act highfalutin as well and just be like, hmm. After looking around and leaving, they ask me if I'm interested in anything. Hmm. Nothing in here interests. What do you do? I'll be like, I'm a, <laughs> I'll just say I'm a tarot reader. <laughs> just mess with their head. No, I'll say, um, I don't know what I'll say. cheapest thing that I could find so <laughs> but if I do end up eventually one day buying then I will definitely do an unboxing okay like yeah contemporary art oh that's what I call a museum This book was cheaper. They only show. 